Hi, I'm Kathy Harriet, and I work at the Punta Gorda Charlotte Library, and today we're going to do some paint pouring. Paint pouring is a really hot item now. Basically, you mix up a bunch of paint and you pour it, and it makes these swirls, and you let it dry. I got my color suggestions out of this library book. Uh, it helps you match up colors and get contrasting colors. It is available in the Charlotte County Library System and you can put it on request and have it sent to your home library. First things you're going to need are canvases. You can get the one that's already on the board or you can get the flat canvases. I like the board ones because you can put some tacks in them and make them stand. I'm going to put that in my handy dandy tray that I got at the dollar store. <laughs> Next you're going to need acrylic paints. I've already mixed up five of the paint colors I'm using. I am using, I don't even know what this color is, oh copper, mango, limeade, light yellow, fresh cut grass, and I'm going to mix up some black. I've already poured my paint in the cup. You're going to use two parts paint to one part pouring medium. There are different pouring mediums that you can use. You can use Mod Podge, available in a craft store. You can use Elmer's Glue Wall with some water. You can buy some paint pouring medium that is specifically for paint pouring. Or if you're feeling like you're going to be doing a lot of this, you can get some Floetrol. This makes the paint move and not have lumps in it. It is great stuff. So I'm going to take my black paint and I'm going to pour some of the Floetrol in it. About two to one. I'm going to take my stir stick and I'm going to stir it up. Get all the white streaks out. Alrighty, and we're good to go with that. I'm gonna need a cup for you to pour your paint into. But before you do that, you can add some acrylic pour oil to a couple of your cups. What that will do is separate the paint and show colors that are underneath it. It really makes a nice uh, design. I'm going to start in my cup with, I'm going to move that over there, some yellow. Some black. This is a very messy craft, so use your, um, your tablecloths. Very messy craft. Green. I'm going to put some copper in to give it some shimmer. Every one of these I've done has come out so completely different. It is really a lot of fun to do. There's my mango. And get some limeade. You have to, um, pudding consistency is what they're saying to get your paint to look like. So if you can get it to a pudding consistency, you're good to go. If you don't want, know what pudding consistency is, go get some jello pudding and have a snack and you'll be able to see exactly what it is like. All right. All right, I think that'll be enough. Should be enough. Put a little more copper in. Move those out of the way. And now for the fun part. You're going to take your canvas, you're going to put it on top of your cup, and you're going to flip it. And you're going to wait for the paint to kind of pour down 
and you're going to pull the cup up. Blur. And you're going to tilt it around. Let the paint get to the edges. See those little circles that are popping up? Those are the cells that are caused by the pouring oil. Just gonna swish it around till you get to something you like. You want it to go all the way over. It is messy. All right. And then you let that sit. Messy. You let that sit for a little while. You're going to look around and see if it's how you like it because you can still tip to make it change a little. And then you're going to let it dry for two days. Very important to let it dry for two days because if you touch it, um, you'll get fingerprints in it and that's not really pretty. So there is our poured paint. I have done some other objects with the poured paint. We have a vase that I turned upside down and I poured the paint over and let it drip down. Didn't turn out exactly the way I want, but that's why you practice. I had a discarded DVD that I turned into a painted artwork. It kind of looks like a planet now. That was really fun. This one has a lot of metallic in it. It's actually one of my favorites. Actually, I always put it upside down because that looks like a mountain. I look at these and I look to see what I can find in here. So it's like mountains and then there's like a little river. It's just fun. You can actually um, then put words over the top if you wanted to do more, but I just like to look at them the way they are and imagine what shows up in it. I hope you get a chance to try this. It is a lot of fun. It's not really expensive. You can get most of the supplies in your dollar store, at Walmart, um, I don't think Target, Michaels, Joann's. It is a lot of fun. You never have the same painting twice and you can give them away as gifts because they're beautiful. Another example of paint pouring using this plastic cupcake liner. I have not done this before, but I've been dying to do it. So I have my, my canvas in on top of one of these to hold it up so that the paint can drip off. And then I'm gonna place this one right here. And I already have my paint mixed and I'm going to pour it over the top like that. Glue. It's so fun to watch. All right. And I'm going to take this and I'm just going to kind of tilt it so that the paint goes to the edges. Makes, definitely makes a different um, different marks in the paint when it's coming off of that. It's not so much round, it's more linear. Uh, whoop, it's sliding. All right, so I'm gonna go this way and then I'm gonna actually let the paint, the, the cup light off. There we go. And we'll do that. Very messy. I actually like that little hole in the middle. I'm going to set it there. Let it finish moving around. If you want, you can take some more paint and fill in that hole if you're not happy with it. Get paint on the edges so everything's covered. I 
I actually like this color combination with the copper and the greens and the black coming through. All right. All right. Now I'm going to pick it up and tilt it so that the paint covers up that green spot a little bit. Watch it drip. If you're going to do this with kids, which you can, it's not not impossible. I would do it outside if it's not too hot. That way you won't have as much cleanup and you won't have to worry as much about paint getting on the rug. Alrighty, I like how that turned out. Isn't that pretty? Alrighty. Alright, thanks for joining us and I hope to see you around again. Bye!